Hello there. In this video, we're going to check out how to organize our pages in Figma. So let's go. Okay, so diving into the file, we have got multiple pages here. I'm going to click on the plus button at the top, which has created me a new page at the bottom. Now, previously, when I was trying to segment different pages, so I'd put a number of dashes in here and I would kind of drag this page up and down to create separators between the different pages and the different structures of a file. So now with Figma, you can just do three dashes and if you hit enter, it puts in a really nice kind of line that you can move up and down. Looks a little bit more styled and it just helps make your file a little bit cleaner. So I click plus again. So I think you can use different characters to create this. So it's either the three dashes. So I think you can use the asterisks as well. So let's use three of those. Hit enter, yeah, that works. Click on plus again. I think this is probably the easiest. If you hit space three times and then hit enter, there we go. Adds in another one. Let's drag that up there. If I click on shift, I can select multiple pages and then I can drag them to different positions within the file. So yeah, that's the quick tip for today, keeping your file nice and structured, keeping you organized, so it avoids any confusion and keeps your Figma file nice and tidy. I think a feature that could be useful in the future is if they allowed sub pages to a page, so like a parent-child relationship. So if I created a page here, so you've got noise and texture plugin, and if we wanted a sub page to this, I can't do that, I can't drag it inside it. The only way you could make it visually look like it's related is maybe adding a few spaces so then it looks indented and therefore looks linked to this page. So maybe this is potentially a new feature and something Figma can do in the future. Okay, thanks for getting to the end of the video. Like, subscribe, add comments, do whatever you wanna do and I will see you in the next video.